Hey guys, welcome back and today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to lead you into a video and then we're going to come back. But what I want to say is today I decided I'm going to take 10 bucks. That was my original plan. Take 10 bucks, go somewhere, see if I can find a movie, a snack, everything I would need for complete entertainment for that night under $10. And I want to say that I had a pretty good time doing this. I didn't get to shoot as much video as I like, but I will set that up right now. First thing I want to talk about is I went to this place called the Halloween Store. It's part of Party Galaxy, I believe, or something like that. You'll see the video here. I didn't get to shoot as much in here as I liked, but I did show a little bit. Just wanted to show you what it was like. And surprisingly, that place was packed for the time I was in there. It was really pretty early in the day. Let me go ahead and take you guys over to the Halloween Store that's near me. If you can see the store up here, once a year, about this time of the season, instead of Party Galaxy, it becomes the Halloween store. So let's go inside and see what we see. Hi, how are you doing today? Doing just fine, how are you? Hopefully you guys could see a little bit of that. I know it was quick. It was a little random. I didn't end up buying anything there. I just want to kind of do a quick walk through and most of the spaces I couldn't actually look at because of how many people were there. So I didn't shoot a whole lot of video just because how weird they are. But the next place I went to was the place I was talking about where I wanted to try to get an entire night's worth of entertainment for 10 bucks. So let's switch on over to that segment here and let's go to Big Lots. Hey guys, just going to Big Lots here. Um, I've got 10 bucks and I'm going to go in and see what I can find. Maybe get a snack, get a movie, uh, see what happens, okay? In we go. Hey guys, just got out of Big Lots. I actually got a much better deal than I thought. Got a couple of snacks, a couple of drinks, and um, something to watch. I'm so excited. So um, this was actually an awesome deal. All right, getting out of here, and I will see you guys again soon. So first of all, the movie I got for a total of three bucks, I was very excited about this, which is House on Haunted Hill. But this isn't just the remake of House on Haunted Hill, but it's also returned to the House on Haunted Hill, which is kind of a sequel to that. I've not heard really anything good about that. I don't think it's got very good ratings, but to find two movies for three bucks, I thought, you know what? I haven't seen House on Haunted Hill in a while. I remember really liking it. I had the old cardboard snap case version that I got rid of quite a while back. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go and watch this. This is a remake from an older Vincent Price House on Haunted Hill. That particular older version, I haven't seen it in a long time either. I remember watching it probably around 2000 just because it was getting a lot of attention because of this. That older version is actually in public domain, so you should be able to look it up on YouTube if you wanted to. But as far as this goes, this version here, I remember when it came out. I was really excited about it. I've been reading about it in Fangoria. And I thought the visuals looked really scary. Now, looking back on it, it's lost a lot of its sting. Although, a lot of those visuals are still pretty good. There's not a lot of CGI to speak of. I really enjoy this. It's got a fun cast. The cast are a lot of like 90s style actors, early 2000s. But the main plot setup of this is that a mental hospital has a big incident. There's a lockdown that causes 
a lot of people to die inside this place in the early 1900s. And then it kind of fast forwards to the modern time where there's this promoter. And he promotes different kinds of attractions, uh, roller coasters and haunted house type things. And that's in particular what they're showing at the beginning is this roller coaster. It's pretty funny. Uh, Jeffrey Rush plays this guy that's supposed to be like the Vincent Price type character. And they even give him the last name Price. He's promoting this big to-do at this actual mental hospital. And once you go to the mental hospital, you start to realize that the whole thing is, is kind of a gimmick. If you can survive all night, you get this money. But along the way, there's a lot of weird things where people are supposed to be guests or not actually guests. There's these other people that are guests and you don't know why and who selected who. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what's part of the initial plan and what's not until it really starts going. But once they're inside this location that's you know supposedly haunted, this mental hospital, you start to see these individual characters kind of get separated. It gets really kind of typical in a few scenes, but I like it. As a haunted house type of movie, I think it's probably pretty good. I think a lot of you guys that hadn't seen it maybe have missed out because um, if you don't take it too seriously, it's actually pretty spooky. It's got some great people playing some of the characters and uh, it's written fairly well. It's fun and I enjoyed it. I hadn't seen it in a long time. It was a cheap buy. Can't go wrong. But yes, that's my movie for today is The House on Haunted Hill from 1999. So if you get a chance, definitely check that out. And for today, we're going to switch over to the bonus segment. Okay, for today's bonus segment, my thing was that I went to Big Lots and I was thinking to myself, what can I do for 10 bucks? And basically what I was able to do is for about 12 bucks, I set up a movie and a snack for two different days. And I'm very excited about that. But I was going to show you what I found today that I'm going to try. And that's this Chipotle Hot Sauce Pringles. And this version here was $1.10 for this big can. This is actually really good. Not only has it got that kind of barbecue-y type flavoring that you get from Chipotle, but it's actually pretty warm. Usually Chipotle is not as hot as you would hope it would be. And this one's actually a good combination of hot and Chipotle. So if you see these, especially at like Big Lots for a big can for a dollar, give it a shot. So I got that, got something to drink, and got my movie, House on Haunted Hill. Altogether, that was about $6. Something like that. Can't go wrong with that. And if you guys are interested in seeing what I got with my other $6, come back tomorrow. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to set up what the movie is, show you the snack. If you get a chance, check out Haunt on Haunted Hill. Check out Chipotle Hot Sauce Pringles if you're a fan of hot things. I really enjoyed those. I thought it was a great snack for today's movie. Big props for Big Lots. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. And you can see what my other 6 bucks got me. All right, see you guys again tomorrow. Thank you.